Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to talk about how to get featured in magazines or online or on TV even. And it's actually pretty easy I and mean, you don't have to be crazy good to be featured. Uh, as an example for us, we got featured several times at the beginning with our old T3i camera. And um, we'll show you guys how we did it. So there are several platforms where you can be featured in. First is magazines, of course. Actually, watch this video right now of us finding our picture in a bookstore. Hey everybody, so today we're here at Barnes & Noble. We're gonna check out to see if this magazine was in. We heard that we were in a magazine, so we're gonna check it out right now. Let's go. For magazines, you don't really have to do anything except for submit your images. So find a few different magazine publications and just submit your photos. Most magazines will have a website where you can submit your images right from there, or they will tell you an email address to submit your images with, uh, to. Uh, the, the most important thing is to read the guidelines because they all have different guidelines. Sometimes they only care about your image, and sometimes they care about your image plus your name, address, um, camera use, everything. So make sure you follow the guidelines. You know, you never really know until you just take a chance. So again, like we weren't professionals when we got featured for the first time either. So, you know, just take a chance on yourself, be confident and you know, you love your pictures, other people are gonna love them too. Um, and then besides magazines, you also have something similar, catalogs. So if this one is from Orion, so if you're using an Orion telescope, for example, or a Mead uh, telescope, or if you're using a, uh, a fast strong mount, try to be close to those guys, like just tag them on Instagram, tag them on Facebook. Uh, oh, look, my picture is amazing. Right, like manufacturers have catalogs that they send out to people, you know, to show what their new goods are for the year and stuff. And I mean, that's, that's a pretty good place to be featured, you know, even if it's not a magazine. There's still a lot of interesting things inside of the catalog for you to learn. And, you know, people maybe can find out about you. They found us on YouTube, I think, or on Instagram, I don't remember. And they made a full page about us. Um, they sent us a few questions, they made a full page. And many of you guys found us because of that. So, not only did it go on the catalog here, but it also went on the website. So, it's pretty nice. Then you have regular websites. Uh, for example, there are many websites that are really big uh, out there. For example, astronomy.com, that's huge. Actually, those guys, they featured our M33 image and we never knew about it. We didn't see it, we, we missed it, and someone told us about it. So I wonder if there were more since then because they put your name, but they don't really tag you or anything. So. Right. Um, but you know, many websites, you can just submit images and uh, usually it's pretty straightforward. Is there an email or a submission page? So just find some online. And then uh, one more platform you can submit your images to is uh, if, you, if you're following someone, maybe on Instagram, YouTube, whatever, and you see they're writing a book. So for example, us, like four years ago, we wrote this book here and we asked you guys on Instagram and online and everything if you wanted to be part of it. So we actually featured like I think like 30 or 40 uh, people uh, you know, from YouTube and you know, from you guys in this book. So we asked you guys to send us your images. And so a bunch of you guys are in there. And this is nice, you know, if, if you know someone's writing a book, you can always you know, ask them. Maybe you're in need of like, a, like M78 in LH, LRGBHA, you know, some specific stuff. Maybe they'll say yes. So it's always cool to have your name in there. And um, we'll actually write another book at some point next year and we actually plan to ask you guys again for images if you want to. So 
keep an eye out for that if Who you knows, want to be in the book. Might even be able to reach out with uh, uh, my Astro Journal too. Also, yeah, the app, for example, the app, we also plan to add uh, some images from you guys and replace them in there. So uh, we're, we're actually thinking about making like some kind of contest or something. We'll see. Uh, what else do we have? Just magazines, catalogs, books, online? Internet articles. Um, oh, TV. Yeah. Television. So for TV, um, we actually got featured once and almost twice. So at the very beginning, um, I think four years ago, uh, a producer from BBC Australia reached out to us and wanted to feature our M33 image on their uh, episode about astronomy on BBC. So it's really nice. It didn't make it, but that's okay. Yeah, so sadly it didn't make it. It was supposed to, but I'm not sure why it didn't make it. But anyway, this person found us on Flickr, so that's how she found us. And then the, the one good time we were on TV, finally, was... Um, I think it was an episode about Nevada on our local PBS station. Yes. And they found us on Facebook, on the Las Vegas Astronomical Society uh, Facebook page. So, we suggest to join your local uh, club. Like your, yeah, your chapter of like the Astronomical Society in your city. Like a club, you know, any any like gathering of like people with these similar interests. Because if someone from you know TV has no idea what you know stars are, or what nebulae are, and they want to make a video about it on TV, the first thing they will do is to go on that page and ask for you know the pros uh, if they can submit images or even interview them on TV. So um, that's how we got. That episode done on TV. That was it nice. It could be you. It could be you. So to conclude the episode, we just want to let you know that you don't have to be a professional to get your images published, and to make sure that you take all the shots. Like you know, put yourself out there because you never know if you'll be featured unless you actually you know make the effort to put your images out there. So we hope this video was helpful to you guys, and we hope that your images will be featured soon at some point in different places. So good luck with that. Uh, we'll see you guys next time and clear skies.